Jesus says, "Pray to God before you eat." Jesus says, "Pray, give thanks to Father God and Lord Jesus before you have your meal." I've gone through a lot of difficulties, hard times, terrible times. I've been fighting with God a lot. And and there was a time. One time recently, instead of thanking God before eating, I cursed at God. I said something like "f word," "f word" to God, to Jesus before eating. And it was、um, lunch time at work. And he turned the food that I know for a fact that it's fresh because it can't go bad. He spoiled the food in matter of seconds. As soon after I cursed at God before eating, the food turned to spoiled food instantly. When I try to get a first bite. I taste that weird, sour, like spoiled food, and I quick then I I quickly realized that it's the food got spoiled supernaturally, and that I knew if I keep on eating it that I will get sick. I'll get a、uh, a、uh, sick by food poisoning. So I stopped immediately. Stopped eating. Jesus can bring curses to you. As a matter of fact, he can bring curses to Christians a lot, a lot of times, whole lot of times, endless times. There's no way that we can avoid curses at all times. It's impossible. Jesus can not only bring miracles to us. Bringing good to us, but he can also bring curses to us if we if we do wrong. Even if you do good, you still can get curse. It happens all the time, one way or the other. You're gonna have to go through hard times. Jesus,、um, he can bring curses. Not only miracles, but he can bring curses supernaturally,、uh, in a supernatural way. It's amazing how he can turn the food, make it spoiled in matter of seconds. I couldn't believe it, but it happened.、Uh, Jesus was obviously hurt because I cursed at him. He was hurt. But he knew that I was angry, and that he knew that I was gonna curse because he knows what we、we'll, what we will do, and what we won't do. He knows us. I wanted to share this out to you all. So be sure to,、uh, even if you have a bad times, terrible times, even you have a very, even if you are very angry with God. Don't curse. Try not to curse at him, and don't curse. Uh, uh, instead of thanking him before eating, if you can't pray because you are so angry, just don't pray. Just don't curse, and just eat your food. Then you'll be all right. But don't curse at him, because he can bring plague. To our lives, he can bring poison. He can bring、uh, curse upon us.、Uh, and obviously, Jesus was not angry. He was not、um, trying to pay back to me, or punish me, or retaliate me. He doesn't operate like man's ways. He is God. He is love. He doesn't retaliate like the man do, just because you cursed at him. 
he was obviously hurt. He was hurt, but he knew that I was going to do it. So try not to uh, curse. Try not to curse at God. Just be silent. That's best you could do. Or thank Him if you can. You can still thank Him even though you are mad. It's a, it will be a plus to you. You will get more benefit from it. Um, and um, I have an update. Uh, because of my constant, ongoing financial and job problems, I, I actually never really made a video about this in detail, how much trouble that I've been going through. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what I have been going through, what uh, all the details of troubles. But I've been going through hard times since I came to God, since I surrendered my life to Him. And it got worse and worse and worse. The intensity of pain increases. It doesn't get better. It increases, unfortunately. It, uh, it progresses. The pain increases. And the more you get to know God, the more you get to know the truth the more pain you will bear because you know that it's coming from God. That you know that God is giving you a hard time. It's the truth. And you'll have more pain. You'll have more sorrow. It is in the Bible. If you check in the Bible, it will say somewhere in the Bible that there's more pain, there's more sorrow as you get to know God, as you get to walk with Him. Um, but because of my financial troubles and job problems, I've gone through about 85 to 90 jobs uh, in, the last, in, the, in the last few years. I think about the duration of maybe one and a half year, I've gone through about 90 jobs. That's got to be the record, world record. I don't think anybody else can match that. I don't think anybody else can have that many go through that many jobs in that such short period of time I'm not trying to brag or anything I'm not trying to brag that oh, how bad I am or how miserable I am or that that I am special I'm not saying that I'm just letting you guys know that I just don't see how other people can go through that many jobs as I did obviously I had to go through I had to keep applying keep trying to work try to get jobs so that I can pay my bills because my apartment my apartment rent has been killing me to death it got worse and worse and uh, I just can't keep up anymore so, um, I'm homeless. Uh, I moved out of my apartment on the end of last month, June, June 31st. And I'm, I have a new home. I'm living in a tent. I have two tents, uh, one for storage, one for sleeping. I have a cat with me. I moved everything out. Uh, and I'm here living out here in the woods in the wilderness and now I have no rent payment to worry about but there is a tremendous tremendous amount of debt that I have to pay that I need to pay I owe so much money so much money that you can't comprehend well I guess for some people can but to me, it's just way too much. Anyways, I want to make this. I want to make this video short. Um, I will try to make another video to show about my place uh, in in more detail. But I wanted to bring this message about the supernatural uh, power from God that He can turn the good into bad in matter of seconds. 
on a Christian, on a Christian. So um, I wanted to share this with, share this to you all. Jesus bless you.